Welcome to the Brainerd Marketplace here at the uh, Brainerd Area Civic Center. I'm here with Chris Foley. We're going to talk a little golf, Chris. And uh, if you look outside, it, it doesn't seem close, but you're you're almost assured that it's going to it's going to be the normal start date. You know, I am always an optimist, <laughs> yeah. but uh, you know, in my 17 years in Brainerd, I've only had one year where we haven't been out teaching by the week of the 15th of April. So okay. I'm uh, I'm optimistic. As we just got a, yeah. a bunch of snow dropped on yeah. us yesterday, so so thanks for being an optimist. What uh, what new things do you got? Going on at, at the at the golf school this year, you know we're um, this year one, one of the big things we're doing is we're we're going to be part of the U.S. Junior National Team and. Um, I've been a coach for the national team for a couple of years now. It's a fairly new program, but we're we're putting our junior program under that umbrella, and I'm really excited about it because of a lot of the things that it brings to our to our programs. So, nice. Yeah. And uh, you've been at Craigs for a couple of years now, and you've really kind of developed your own junior program. Uh, how what sort of things will you be able to incorporate now with that? What we're going to add to that is is um, there's a now a better progression of levels. So okay. we've got five levels of junior golf. So as kids progress. They're going to move to a different level. We've got benchmarks that we use to move them to those levels. And being part of the U.S. Junior National Program, um, as the kids advance, they're going to be able to play in regional events, national events, and international events, which is really cool. We've uh, Our national team, we're, t- we're taking to Scotland this, this oh, summer. Really? Uh, we've got some matches against the Canadian national team, and then we're we're taking some kids to China for a uh, the Aaron Baddeley Invitational in China, wow. which is an international yeah. junior event where a lot of the other national programs or national teams will be at. So. Now you've always been on the cutting edge of technology, and I just just read an article on the the, the system that you use, TrackMan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that and uh, just the the benefits of using uh, this technology. Well, tra- TrackMan's it's it's kind of like a for lack of a better term, it's almost like an MRI for your golf swing. Okay. Because it, it measures uh, it measures 21 different parameters of the golf swing, mm-hmm. or the golf ball and the golf club, and it really is definitive. I mean, there's no guesswork involved. We can say, hey, you know, your club face is closed three degrees and your path is three degrees left. If we want to get your ball flight to change, here's what we've got to do. And uh, so it's a great teaching tool from that standpoint. Now you're going to the Masters. You, you kind of go there every year for the more for the practice rounds than the actual tournament. Uh, who, who are some of your favorites this year, though? I, yeah, I usually try to get in at least one or two practice rounds in one tournament round. But uh, I'm I'm, I'm kind of I, I think Brent Snedeker is going to have a good year. Okay, uh, Matt Kuchar. Uh and I think there are going to be some young players who play well, like uh, Jimmy Walker. Um, I've actually got one of my very good friends is playing in the tournament this year, so that's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be interesting. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't anticipate him contending. Okay, okay. But uh, he, uh, Mike McCoy from Des Moines, Iowa, he won right. the won the U.S. Mid Amateur, which gives you an invitation yep. into the tournament. So I'm really looking forward to this year as much as any to be able to see him play. No, everybody kind of wonders what, what's it actually like. What's what, what's Augusta National actually like? Yeah. You've been there a couple times. What, what is it actually like? You know, it's it's. Uh, uh, unlike any other sporting event you've been to, it's uh, to me it's the I'm so passionate about golf, but it, it's it's the best sporting event there is, mm-hmm. and it's uh, the biggest difference between what you see on TV and what you see in person is how much elevation change there is. So uh, w- from the top of the golf course, really where the clubhouse is, down to Amen Corner and the the lower part of the golf course, it's it's a, probably about a 300 foot elevation drop. So it's very, very hilly. Uh, it's a great spectator golf course, sure. and uh, the greens have way more slope than you than you would imagine. There. So you're you're optimistic that it's going to be April fifteenth around that area. Yeah. And uh, Chris, how do people get a hold of you uh, for when that opening date finally does get a hold? They can get, get a hold of me at, uh, at cfoley at chrisfoleygolf.com okay. on my website. On Twitter, it's at chrisfoleygolf, uh, or my cell phone number is two one eight. Eight two zero nine four two six. Well, Chris, thanks for your time, and uh, I hope you're right on the, on the opening date. Let's hope so. Huh?